Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mastery Mode. We're going to be doing here another expert track. And I think this track is uh, a track uh, one of its kind. It's going to be clock, yeah. So this track here, Impopable, let's go, uh, is the only track in the whole game where we can place towers in the path of the balloons. So I'm going to explain now how this path, how this uh, map works. So as you can see here, there are two arrows, one that marks the minutes and one that marks the hours. So the one that marks the minutes is going to be still here. It's not going to move, but the ones that mark the hour is going to move every round. So for example, round one is going to be here, round two here, round three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 12, then it's going to be 13, 14, 15, 16, etc. So it's going to move around every round. The balloons are going to come here from the top. They're going to do this. Okay. Once they reach this little circle here inside the bigger clock, they're going to follow this circle until the, the number that is marked from, is marked from this little arrow. So for example, here in this first round, they're going to do this. Then they're gonna do follow here this circle here. Then they're gonna exit, and they're gonna do all the path here in the outside of the clock. Okay. Imagine now that the this little arrow is marking six o'clock. Okay. The balloons are gonna do this. They're gonna follow all the little circle until they reach six o'clock. Then they're gonna exit. Okay. So that's really how this map works. And uh, the only difference is that at 12 o'clock, so the two arrows are gonna be in the same spot, okay? The balloons are gonna come from the top. They're gonna go around the circle once, and then they're gonna exit. So really at 12 o'clock is the time where the path is uh, the most shorter. So it's shorter, but it's really the only example. So now here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna place here, why not? The turtles here, um, two in the path and two slightly in the left and in the right. And we should be really fine here with four turtles. And you're gonna see now in the next round here. Yes, yeah, you can see now they is marking two. And now it's gonna be marking three and so on. So every round really is a uh, is that and of course the closer we get to the um, to the later rounds so for example when they are 10 uh, not the rounds but the hour so the the later the hour is the more shorter is gonna be the round of course because uh, the balloons are gonna do instead of doing the big circle outside they're gonna be doing the little circle in the inside so of course it's gonna be a path that is gonna be uh, shorter, but uh, for us uh, that I'm using here the for me that I'm using the helis, really this is the best because there is just one path. The path is even though uh, uh, it can be pretty short when uh, it is after six p.m. It's gonna be more shorter. Uh, but it's going to be uh, long, okay? So it's not really a short uh, track here. It's really long. And therefore, my head is going to have more time to pop the balloons until they exit. So I should be able here to get a uh, farm here in between the round. Yeah. Here we go. I'm gonna get wait until I can get the uh, cash here. So as you can see now, that we're gonna do the round thirteen. Is gonna be again. The clock is gonna be in at one, uh, one a.m., one p.m. I don't know. Call it as you want. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna place the farmer here, and let's go. Uh, we're gonna do the same strategy we did for the last time 
so we're gonna be using uh, uh, we're gonna be selling the farms as soon as we can to get uh, here we go to get the early factory so that's what we're gonna do here so I think uh, I need here to get that's the second or this is the first bunch I didn't pay attention I'm gonna wait a, a bit here uh, I think it was the second already so yeah let's go Now we're gonna now that we have four farms we're gonna start upgrading them. And uh yeah the turtles should be able to hold off the balloons. I'm gonna take here last and here also last to stop the farther balloons from getting too close. Okay, let's see here this car okay. For the leads, no problem. For the lead blooms. Um, okay, so now that it's round twenty-four, you're gonna be seeing. I'm gonna sh be show you, showing you the path that the blooms follow. So, for example, here this camel, as you can see, follows all of that. Then it's gonna exit. Okay. So that's really the path that the blooms follow when they eat twelve o'clock. Um, yeah. So that's the how it works let's see here for these rainbows okay cool I'm gonna get first factory here I think I'm gonna get this one okay so let's get the three zero farm of course we're gonna be selling two two zero farms and one three zero farms to get one farm to factory and here we go so uh, let's see when we're gonna have 3.4 K cash is gonna be the number of uh, to get a factory because here this sells for 3.2 and this also so it's 6.4 cash okay this one is 7.0 so it's gonna be 13.4 cash by selling these three farms we have 3.7 and this farm here, the factory here, upgrade cost uh, 16.8. So we have enough, as you can see here, 17.1 to get the factory going. So as you can see here, some blooms are passing. I'm going to just place some rose spikes to, in case the turtles are not fast enough, but... Okay, so um, I'm gonna start here this round. Let's see if I can get the valuable bananas here as soon as I can. So I'm gonna be getting the last three boxes here. I'm gonna be getting 600 monkey money. The 600 cash, sorry. It's always cash here. Okay, so 2.3 mm, is more worth it. Heli, no, I'm not gonna have enough to to level up the heli to spot camo. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try to make, place this farm here, then upgrade it. Uh, okay, that should be enough. And upgrade it uh, to zero. So I just place rose packs there for to stop these camos. That should be enough, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna get here. Um, here we go, two zero farm. Then I'm gonna be start using this helis here to have the the turtles. Okay, here we go. I'm going to get a village down there because here we can, in all this side, here inside, we can place towers. The only spot where we can't is here in the middle. 
and in the of course in the outer uh, range okay so let's get here for the ceramics uh, I don't want any bad surprises so I'm gonna just get here two helis I'm gonna uh, just make them follow my finger because I don't think I'm gonna have enough to get pursuit mode or maybe with one of them pursuit mode but with the other one I'm just gonna follow my fingers so here we go the ceramics just follow them through all the track and pop them here we go easy let's get also the other one in pursuit mode uh, let's get everything here here we go two two helis um, here for round uh, 37 we have to upgrade one of the two here uh, three two of the helis to spot the camo leads here at the end of this round yes. here we go okay now uh, we're gonna farm up we're gonna stack up uh, consider that the clock is at two two o'clock I think I'm gonna have for this round here 39 a lot of time till I can pop the the ceramics here at the end there's gonna be a lot of ceramics even without here the monkey fort so let's see I think I should I'm gonna prepare some rose pack just in case okay the farmer also is helping thank you farmer yeah very nice so as you can see here I got for round 40 13 13.6 K cash that's a lot and by selling this farm here we get 3.2 so we just have to start this round here 40 we have to cash in as much as we can and uh, here we go get the Apache as usual for round 40 but the same difference uh, the big difference is gonna be that now we got already a factory and the factory is gonna help so much so let's get here a 2-0 farm I think I can start building other farms here to get try to get another factory because here one Apache considered that the track is really long and that I got already an Apache I think I can start building uh, the next factory I have a zero zero village so okay, here we go let's get as much farm as we can remember uh, it's better to have two two zero farms than having uh, uh, one three zero farms is a uh, is more cash okay so let's see okay I can get two okay next round I should be able to get another factory perfect because I need 3.4 uh, yeah because remember I'm doing here the same I, in, I did for the first factory so I got two three zero farms and one three zero farm I'm gonna sell them and I should get enough okay so for this next round I'm gonna upgrade the factory here right away now because the next farm is the BFB and uh, the farms are gonna give me all of their cash instantaneously as soon as the start as the round starts so it's not really worth it uh, okay I was <gasps> I was so scared there what okay uh, I got really scared there I'm gonna get monkey for here and for round 47 I think I'm gonna get the patch here with my finger why not just to place here the the heli in the best spot possible to get maximum popping power okay here we go okay 47 survived Whew. I'm gonna get here to zero farm and now I'm gonna start 
building up for this next uh, Apache but having two factories already we should get so many uh, cash faster and I think for round 50 maybe or 51 we're gonna be able to get the Apache going even without selling this farm okay so let's be careful here about this round because now there are a lot of mobs and I don't want any surprises oh it's, it's gonna be one o'clock okay perfect the round is gonna be so long here the brooms are gonna come in this side here and I'm gonna have so much time to pop them yeah no big deal here uh, yes let's go let's go oh I can already get the a bash wow that's having one uh, having one factory early is gonna be so different than getting the factory after wow well here we go I'm gonna plant here more two zero farms why not so as you can see here I'm just placing two two zero farms because that's really the best it's better to plant four uh, two zero farms than having like one or two three zero farms is more cash so let's see here 3.2 3.2 3.2 .2 is 9.6 is enough 9.6 it is not so I'm gonna wait one more round here oh and I got tons of cash here so I can just sell one here to get this one to factory here we go so good Valuable bananas. Uh, I got also the village to one. Hmm. Let's see. For next round, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think I'm gonna get here. One, two, zero, four. One, three, zero. Though. Another one, three, zero. But I'm gonna control one of the two Apaches here by myself, because here in this round, oh yeah. I don't trust the other Apache. I don't want. Okay. Now we can go smoother here. We can get all the other factories that we need. Oops. Here we go, another one. And another one, I should get enough. Yeah. Here we go. So we got six factories here. I'm not getting any specters. Uh, because now that we have six factories going, we're going to have 18K, 18,000 cash uh, from the farms each round, from the factories each round. So I'm going to place here uh, one specter here. One ace though, here, here, uh, and, oh well, let's get, uh, let's get five here, I think I can, I'm just gonna place them, so that I don't forget how to, I want to place them, okay, here we go, uh, and now we're gonna just go fast forward here, and uh, we're gonna, upgrade everything one specter here we go for around 60 I should get here enough to get another one that's oh my god here we go uh, here we go another one now I got three specters I'm gonna get I'm gonna get four specters even before round 63 so before the mob rush uh, yeah that's something here we go four specters 
I'm gonna get one more five then I'm gonna probably get uh, one heli more why not wanna push more or two and I'm gonna start building the temple though also also building the temple let's get here a bureau so that every dart can pop any kind of bloom here we go and uh, let's see do we really need another so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna be placing here the temple there I'm gonna be selling these turtles to have more room I think this is a good spot okay around 65 oh uh, yeah I think that's enough so no it's a bit Um, yeah, this should be it, right. Yeah, okay. Let's start placing the sacrifices though. Why not? The sacrifices also su should help out with the and stopping the blooms. Um we should be able to get the tempo here for around like 75 uh, okay we got everything so i'm gonna start grading here the sacrifices as usual three two and two three Last apprentice, here we go. Uh, now we only miss the money, the cash to get the temple. But as you can see here, the sacrifices also are doing ton of damage. Uh, well, not tons of damage, but they're doing some damage. And I think, hmm. I think that maybe it's just you pointless to keep on farming here because I can just sell these farms here. As you can see, I got tons, tons of cash from selling these farms. I'm gonna get the temple. I'm gonna get here uh, another. Uh, bureau there that is able to get everything under its range I'm gonna get here also a I think I should right because before I had the bureau there so I should so that's weird no uh, wait I wait until this run here and so I got before there a monkey village but now if I want to place it again I can't so that's weird, whatever, weird interaction. I'm just gonna place it somewhere here. It's just to increase the, lower the cooldown of the, and expand the range of this MIB here. It's really for that. Uh, okay, I think we can go until the end now. We got the temple there. We got, uh, the five specters I'm gonna place last year in the temple uh, so I'm placing last year and in this way the temple is gonna focus the tower that is gonna be uh, far uh, the farthest from the temple and in this way the popping power so the beam is gonna always be vertical and it's gonna always pop the balloons that are uh, beyond so are behind the first balloons the first bloom that come out, comes out, especially if the bloom is like, for example, Zomegad. If the Zomegad is not popped uh, 
in the moment the beam the temple is gonna start following the oh my god and the other bruins um, and therefore I'm gonna be wasting a lot of beam power because the beam is gonna start going in this direction here and so it's gonna have zero popping power because the bloons are not coming from here but from here so that's why I placed last there to have also to have always the beam attacking in the in a straight line so that's a pro tip also remember if you have like um, a really long straight and you place a tower after the straight is always better to get uh, last so the tower is always gonna attack the last balloon so it's gonna attack uh, in a straight line and so it's gonna have maximum popping power so the the, um, the dart is gonna go through many balloons many layers that uh, is good for the engineers for the ninjas almost for every tower that has some kind of uh, popping power of a shooting line is always better but here we go round 82 I'm gonna activate the ability of the MIB again why not I'm not even more I don't know what even time is <laughs> I think it's 10 o'clock for the in the clock in the game next round so it's gonna be 11 o'clock so another thing here to note round 84 so the hardest round in the game is gonna be round when it's gonna be 12 o'clock so when the path is gonna be at its shortest so yeah that's how the game loves us <laughs> they place the hardest round where the track is shortest <laughs> such love okay i think also here five specters maybe are a bit exaggerated i think four or three should be enough but it's not that the phone is lagging so much here so why not I just keep them. I just I destroy the oh my guts faster. Here we go, round eighty four. Uh, let's activate the ability as usual as we, as soon as we see the oh my guts. Here we go now. So here in this eighty fourth round, if you don't want, if you don't know what uh, comes out, uh, it comes out. So fifty BFBs and ten oh my guts. So if you transform, if you transform the tens of my guts in BFBs, are forty BFBs. Then you have fifty BFBs, so it's a total of ninety BFBs. Tens of my guts, ninety BFBs layers, is three hundred and sixty mobs layers, and it's uh, twelve uh, one hundred. 1440 ceramic blooms okay if i've done my calculations correctly okay but anyway we got impopable here i love math so that's why i try to <laughs> calculate there how many ceramics there were but oh i hope you guys enjoyed and see you in my next video bye bye